Um, hello everyone, welcome to Collective Guidance Tarot. Um, this is another reading where I will be asking how does Oprah Winfrey and Gail King, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but yeah, how do they feel about Meghan Markle? What is their perception of Meghan Markle? Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay and that your families are okay and I would just like to thank all of you guys for you know your amazing support all the new subscribers all the people that interact with me on the comment section and the people that have bought me a coffee um thank you very much i've actually ordered um a microphone so i'm waiting for them to deliver thank you guys so much and yeah i was actually able to buy a microphone with you know your donations so yeah i'll be asking you know the question how do they perceive Meghan Markle and yeah I hope you guys are doing okay like I said and that um, I feel a little safe it's actually tough where I am but I believe that eventually things will settle down so yeah uh, so agape Um, the seed so I can pay in reverse and then the judge the venom not surprised the castle the ocean and the forest in reverse the storm um the stone and um the ocean oh so many cards so i pulled out um this card with the reading that i just did with um you know prince charles and so yeah a few things are getting clarified i'm getting clarity on some of the things that were confusing me on the other reading so with the castle card i'm immediately i'm immediately linking that to the other reading that i did so yeah i think they see her as someone who's out um to destroy the royal family i don't think oprah winfrey and gail king actually want whoever her name is i don't think they actually wanted to you know they they didn't realize how deep this whole thing is with the forest they didn't realize how intense and complicated this whole thing is they just thought that they were going to get the gossip and yeah it was obviously going to bring them money because um the royal family is a very private um you know establishment they don't put out something out there like it's not like you know celebrities where you basically know everything about them so there is like a lot of speculation surrounding the royal family and because of that speculation you know there is that public interest when it comes to you know um the royal family they are you know basically public figures that people are interested in whether you into the royal family or not whether you support them or whatever they do have you know that public interest on them so they thought that when they were going to into all of this they were going to make you know money they were thinking it, they were looking at it from an investment point of view with the ocean in reverse remember i said that they didn't realize how deep because the ocean is deep they didn't realize how deep you know this whole this whole thing was and basically what they discovered when they went into it is that she's actually out to destroy um the royal family and with the agape card in reverse this is a card of unconditional love but then since it's in reverse i'm getting the end i'm sorry i'm getting the energy that um I'm getting with the I'm very sorry about that. Um with the Agape card, I'm getting the energy that they have recognized that there isn't really much love. She's actually doing it for her own benefits with the Venom card. She's actually out to destroy the royal family and with the storm, she's trying to cause a storm. And with the judgment card, I'm getting the energy that 
um, with the judgment card in the upright, I'm getting two messages. They feel like they didn't uh, use their discernment when dealing with her and also the other messages that they are actually getting judged for associating themselves with her. They thought that, um, remember I spoke about the investment part where, you know, they obviously were going to make a lot of money from associating with them, but they are actually recognizing that it was actually in poor judgment because you have to realize that um, you know this whole thing is not only affecting Oprah Winfrey and Gail Kim whoever it's uh, also affecting the people that are in business with them the people that are it's actually a team you know like Oprah has a team of people that work for her you know the directors or whatever it's actually going to affect them in return and she's recognizing that she's actually being judged for some of the things that they didn't look at and also with the seed um the seed is planting seeds yeah it also say it's also telling me that the seed that she planted they planted when they thought that by associating with megan marco it was going to bring them that you know big revenue it did but then it's, it wasn't a consistent thing because they thought that it was going to be like a consistent revenue where since harry's and the uh the united states then they were going to create you know different uh media productions where yeah they're basically talking crap about uh the royal family and i'm also thinking to some extent harry has you know has he didn't reveal some of the things that they thought you know the juicy stuff like you know basically the only thing that he has revealed is you know his mental health crap and I'm, I'm not against mental health, I'm just against how he went about it. We all have stuff that we deal with, but we don't go out there and bash our parents. So they thought that they were actually going to get, you know, their tea, the real tea, but um, they actually recognizing that with the ocean, also the ocean is an emotional card. It's they re they actually realizing that this is an, a, a situation that is a more um it's more emotional than logical you know from a business perspective there isn't really much that they can gain from all of this yeah the stone card in reverse this is megan markle's card and also harry's card because i've pulled the stone in harry's readings with the stone the stone is someone who is very rigid controlling she does not want to be told both of them actually embody this energy they don't want to be told anything um they're actually quite difficult to work with and the stone is someone who's demanding someone who is set in their own ways because in as much as megan marco has been exposed to like you know production and stuff media production she's actually an amateur she doesn't know anything she doesn't know on this she's not on the same level as opera and gail king so she's someone who's stuck in her ways and she can't really advise she can't be advised it's actually very hard to advise her and they feel like it's actually very hard to work with and the venom they feel like she's doing this for her own you know it's like a child you know when a child is you know acting rebellious and throwing a, a te temper tantrum that's the word <laughs> yeah they see it that way like remember i said it's more rooted in emotions than logic and with business you need more of logic than emotions that's why um and i think part of our uh, oprah winfrey not asking the deep questions that we all wanted her to ask is because of the controlling nature with the stone the controlling nature of both of them so I actually realized that it's not hard it's actually hard to work with them because in her previous interviews some of the interviews that oprah winfrey has done she was more in control of the situation and when Meghan marco came into the scene it was like everything was flipped so it's like her karma as well. She's receiving karma for all the people that she took. Yeah, <laughs> why am I getting this card a lot? Removing the veil of deception. Yeah, basically the deception in all of this is that um, they were going into it from an investment point of view. And I'm also getting the energy that um, he, she was also warned. Oprah and Gail were warned not to work with them, but they actually went ahead with it. And it was when they started working with them that 
you know, the, decep the deception, the wanting to destroy the monarchy. You know, sort of, they sort of uh, discovered that, yeah, there, there is malicious intent behind everything that they're doing. They're not doing it because, oh, they were hurt and, you know, things didn't go. Yeah, with the queen in reverse, um, yeah, they are trying to, you know, bring down the monarchy. And that's actually what Oprah discovered, that, you know, they're part of, you know, the people that, the anti-monarchists, the people that are trying to destroy the royal family. So, how does Oprah Winfrey currently feel about Meghan Markle as of right now? What are the two of pentacles? Um, <laughs> she's weighing the pros and cons of whether you know she should even further associate uh, herself with them. I don't know if you guys can see this man is holding coins, so it's like she's weighing the pros and cons. Should I work with them? Should I not? Is there money? Is the, you know she's actually not sure you know she's weighing her pros and cons yeah the king of pentacles she's recognizing that there isn't really you know a good financial investment when it comes to them because also with the other deals that they've done with spotify you know they can they're actually quite difficult to work with and especially with media production if you're working with someone that is hard to work with it prolongs the you know the media production and you basically end up working on something for a very long time so and working on something for a long time means more money means you have to pay more people because difficult people actually had to work with so she's recognizing the financial risk that comes with working with her and it's like she's weighing she's in doubt she's doubting whether it was even a good idea to work with her you know, because uh, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, we all know that um, Oprah Winfrey has that masculine energy. She's financially independent. She has like a lot of money. But then in reverse, she's recognizing the financial risk that comes with, you know, associating herself with, um, with her. So, yeah, I mean, so she, both of them are recognized. And I don't think it's only um them it's like the whole of um hollywood because it's a community it's like a collective where yeah this producer will refer them to this direct do you get what i mean it's like that um community where you know they refer each other to each other i hope i'm making sense but yeah so everyone is actually recognizing the risk that comes with too many cards that comes with working with them so these are the like, yeah working with them is actually a burden and this card is a card where you're choosing your burdens wisely and as you can see he's he has more than he can handle so she's recognizing that they actually um harry and megan marco they took more than they could handle and it's actually hard to work with someone who has their finger on every their hands on everything so they're not choosing their you know their battles wisely and he, she's also recognizing that if she decides to work with them it's actually a burden on her they need her more than she actually needs them and yeah with the queen of swords this is a kind of discernment um someone who's very discerning someone who's cutting um and i think she's actually at a oprah winfrey is actually at a point where she's like i need to use my discernment before you know my reputation actually gets messed up because they can't get get away with all of this for a very long time so yeah she's actually using and also with gnosis with which is mystical truth she's getting to that point where she's recognizing that there is actually much more of a risk than a benefit and it's it's a burden that she's she's not willing to carry and as you can see the queen of pentacles is looking away from the the ten of wands so she's saying i don't want this bed burden i'm going to cut off you know any connection with them she's actually weighing the pros and cons of whether she should even like associate herself with them so yeah um one last card then we end the reader oh. Yeah, 
uh, with the lover's card <laughs> so it's, they're basically recognizing that you know one of them is actually at a loss than the other which is Harry, they recognize. Remember I told, I spoke about their agape unconditional love. They recognize that she's actually in this for her own benefits. You know, it's not that, um, you know how they were able to build this fantasy that, oh, it's like a fairy tale, you know, Prince Harry takes, you know, he chose his wife over his family. That is bull crap, and it only happens in movies. And they're recognizing that she's actually doing it um for herself more than anything and also with the lovers in reverse it's actually a very toxic connection and yeah with the the nine of swords remember i spoke about the emotional part of things where um i'm sorry the emotional part of things where they actually recognize that this is a childish thing where harry is more you know he's like a jaded um you know child where you know he wants to take revenge on his father for some of the things that he has done before it's like yeah you never did this for me when i was a child so i'm going to avenge you something like that so there isn't nothing really concrete to them there isn't nothing juicy that you know they can give the tabloids to actually get them you know in a position where they can make a lot of money that's why they have to release um a lot of stories about like stupid stuff like stupid stories about themselves stupid articles because without the the pr then no one really cares about them because megan marco is not interesting and i'm very sorry to say this harry is also not interesting without the royal family there isn't harry without the uk they, he is more relevant within the uk and yeah that's why they have to release a bunch of stupid stuff like oh megan marco made pancakes who cares man people are dying we we're in a pandemic people are losing jobs that's why they have to rely more on you know publicity than anything else because if they were that interesting they wouldn't rely more on publicity like the the media would actually follow them because the media is not following them they are giving the media news do, do you see the irony so yeah they like and also with if some um this is a, a kind of anxiety and depression and i'm also getting that uh opera and gail they recognizing that there's actually you know the whole thing is going to bring them a lot of depression and, and anxiety so they don't want to associate themselves with them so i'm going to end the reading now guys um thank you guys for watching um yeah i genuinely appreciate the support that you guys have given me i hope you guys are safe wherever you are thank you guys for your continued support and your kind words so i'll be doing um all your recommendations so yeah thank you guys for watching bye